oh, I have Gypsy here. I'm going to show you Gypsy's training, so I have a place, a dog bed with a bolstered edge. I'm gonna put it down here. Gypsy knows when she sees a place that we're gonna do some training, and Gypsy knows that she's always rewarded for getting on her place the first time. Good girl, Gypsy, thanks. Gypsy has been taught to lie down by me taking one finger, pointing at her nose, and then pointing at the ground in front of her and asking her to lie down. I want Gypsy to sit from that position. I cup my hand and draw straight up from her nose. Gypsy knows hand signals and voice commands. I'll demonstrate again. Point at her nose, point at the ground to ask Gypsy to lie down. Cup your hand and draw straight up to ask Gypsy to sit. Good girl, Gypsy. Gypsy has been taught to come to me when she sees a closed fist. That's how I convey to Gypsy that I want her to come where I'm at. Gypsy knows when she sees a closed fist, her job is to come over, put her nose on my fist and sit afterwards. Sitting is the canine equivalent of please. And I don't have to ask her for that portion of the behavior. She just knows it's required. I rewarded Gypsy for returning to her place like a very good girl and I'll demonstrate to touch it again. Here's the fist, puppy, light nose bump, light sit afterwards without me asking her to do so. Good girl, Gypsy. Gypsy has been sleeping in a wire kennel at night. If I wanted her in this wire kennel, I'm gonna open up the door, pat the bedding, reward her when she's all the way inside, and shut the door. Good girl, Gypsy, free puppy. Gypsy has always ridden in a plastic kennel in the car. The principle is the same. Open up the door, pat the bedding, reward her when she's all the way inside, and shut the door. Good girl, free puppy. Gypsy knows to sit during certain circumstances without me asking her to do so. And those include when she sees her collar, an easy walk harness, a leash, a dog bowl, or wants attention. I'm gonna demonstrate that by showing Gypsy an easy walk harness and wait for her to come over and do the appropriate behavior. Very nice, Gypsy. When she comes over and sits politely without me asking her to do so, I can slip the harness over her head. The rule is when I have a collar, a leash, or a harness, Gypsy has to sit close enough to me that I don't move my feet. Because if I have to take one step towards Gypsy today, tomorrow I'm gonna to be taking two steps. By the end of the week, I'm gonna be chasing a little puppy named Gypsy around the house. So if she doesn't sit close enough to you, you can make a little kissy noise. That reminds Gypsy to move closer. And you also wanna to remember to work with Gypsy in a small area with less distractions in the beginning. But that young lady was perfect. And the last thing that Gypsy knows, Gypsy knows when she sees a dog bowl, if she wants the contents of that bowl, there's a behavior she must provide. So I'm gonna show Gypsy the bowl, wait for her to sit politely without me asking her to do so, and then I can reward Gypsy with the contents of the bowl. There she is, your very sweet girl, Gypsy.